Hi, I'm Anthony from Learning to Play the Guitar. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the Midnight Oil song, Read About It. Okay, the first bit of the song is the riff, which is used in the intro and in the middle of the song and reappears at the very end. So the riff is a nice little cool thing in 7-4 if you're counting your beats. But the chords, we'll go through the chords first, are power chords, B or B5. Then we're going to go to C sharp, fret 4, and then it does this E thing with our fingers doing here on fret 6, 4, and 5. So from the C sharp to the B, I'm just moving that finger down like that and hitting those three strings, the D, G, B strings. That's a little bit of an E chord. Then it goes back to the C sharp. Power chord again, in the same position. Now we go fret five, A, four strings, a half bar of A. And that shape comes from, say, an F chord shape at fret one. Take it up to number five, and it's the A. And then we jump back to a C sharp minor bar chord, but I'm really only hitting four strings down the bottom, so we've got B, C sharp, E, that was the E, sorry, C sharp, and then A, C sharp minor. Um, and so I'll, I'll do that with the strumming as I vaguely did then, but I'll do it a bit more properly with the down up. So we're going to go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 B, C sharp, E, C sharp. C sharp. There's another variation later later on in the song in the middle where he does vary the riff and at the end he does it as well. Instead of just going on the C sharp down up up near the start of the riff he goes down up down up. So I'll show you a version two as well. Same chords though so we're going to go down down up down up down up down 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 and then it starts again. start ends on the B um, but that's basically it so he has those two variations of that rhythm it's just um, quite quick because it's a fast song but that's the riff For the verse of the song, uh, there are a bunch of chords here as well. Of course, uh, on the studio version, it's on acoustic guitar, but when they do it live, they just play clean electric, so I'm just going to stick with my electric guitar for now. So, first chord we're dealing with for the verses are, is a B major. And then in the 7th fret position here. And the next chord is an E sus 2, which is just bringing the two fingers down and losing the second finger. And that's an E sus 2, five strings. And it goes backwards and forwards between those two chords three times. Put a finger there, and the B and the E sus 2. G sharp minor is the next chord, which is that fret 4, that bar chord shape there. And then it goes back to the B again, to the E, to the B, to the E, to the B, to the E. Yet again, same two chords. C sharp minor on the second variation, which is like from the intro riff really, and A major, the whole bar chord. So that's the chords and the vague structure there. And so then there's strumming, of course, behind this. And one little trick to it, he does, um, there's a little pickup strum into sort of, not every bar, but most of the bars it's there, um, which is like a and a one, especially on the B. Um, so I'll play through a slowed down version of the strumming of the verse and the music will appear, of course, to help you as you go along. So here's one round of the verse. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, three and four and up. C sharp. Two and three and four and A and two and three and four and. So that's the elements of that going through. The second time around going into the chorus is actually two bars of A. So you go, say, from C sharp. Two and three and four and A and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and 
then you're into the chorus. Read about it after that. So one thing to take note of in the second verse is a big gap after the G sharp minor. One and two and three and four. Then there's a two bar gap, which means you lose the B in an E times two. And then you resume, resume on a B, E, C sharp to an A. So there's a bit of a gap there, but you can probably work that up by listening to the song fairly quickly. Um, these chords are also the same chords used on the uh, on the end, sort of sing along a ah, bit. Ah, ah. That bit on the end with the bass is all sliding around. It's the same chords. <laughs> The next bit is the chorus, and so um, there's a little guitar riff hiding underneath all the chanting of read about it, and here, uh, after the verse was in 4-4, four, four, we're now going into 6-4, because it's midnight oil and they love to be fancy with rhythm and timing, so the riff in the chorus is this. <laughs> D chord there, which sounds very weird out of context, but that's what happens. And then there's the bass and the drums filling in the rest of that chorus part there for a few more bars. Um, so basically the riff. So fret two, fret four, and I'm just going to go down, up, down, up with the pick, down, up, and an E2, back to the C sharp four, for a down, up, and there's a bit of a jump to the six. I'll do it again. So two, four, two, four, six, which is one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. That's the bar of six times, and that happens twice, and then you've got the D chord. So that's not too crazy. So the other main bit of this song that appears is the bridge where it changes key briefly and does a bunch of arpeggios. So it's not really a guitar solo here, but there's sort of uh, there's an arpeggio breakdown if you like. So here is uh, the first pattern. So based around a B flat sus four chord. So a lot of sus chords happening here. Suspended chords where the third is replaced by the fourth or the second note of the scale. But as a result, we end up with this shape and this pattern in the tab. Basically, it's eight, six, eight, 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 six, and it goes round and round. There's three of those. That was one bar. This watch you down up picking two to make it smooth and efficient. Down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. So my general rule of picking here is the hand goes down, the pick will come down, and when it comes back up, it'll go up. So generally up on the bottom string. So that's the B flat pattern. There's three of those, and the first time we do the three B flats, we'll now jump to the G minor which is basically almost the same shape, but this. Sorry. So what we're doing here is we're actually changing from a G minor, uh, 5, 3, 3, and we're adding a little finger on the 5 halfway through. So 5, 3, 3, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. So double on the C note there on the end. But it goes back to the B flat at fret uh, 8s and 6s, same as before. Three more bars of that, and then second time it will jump to a C sus two, which is a C with a D note, which is five five three three in this case, and do that so five five three 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 five five, and then when you listen to it live they do change this chord, but in the recording they actually play this little weird A flat flat five chord, which is uh, this in tab numbers. Six, five, three, four, three, five, six. So it sounds a bit exotic. So a little bit fiddly trying to get the two. Without screwing it up. So that's a chord change to work on. And then it goes back to the B flat again. Sorry. And repeats that round and round again. And so basically we've got the three B flat patterns to the G minor thing again. B flat again. This is the second round I'm doing. Three of those, and then after three of those B flat ones, we're now going to go to the C sus two chord pattern. And there's three of these um, sitting on the one chord. The bass moves, giving it a bit of 
sort of sounds like it's moving in chords, but it's actually just one chord on the guitar, uh, which is this C sus2 thing we had from before, but just saying staying there. And then we have an F sharp diminished chord, one of these guys. Or one and two and three. And that's taking you back to the verse at the end of the song. For the final verse, maybe one thing to watch out for is the fact that if we're back to that um, that stuff for the final verse, the final ah uh, bit, um, the very, very end of the song, there's an extension where the C sharp minor is for two bars, um, minor two and three and four and two and two and three and four and double A as well. One and two and three and four and, and then you're back to bum, ba, da, 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 the riff to ending to the end of the song. So that's all the parts of the song. I hope you have fun learning this Oz Rock classic. Subscribe to the Learning to Play the Guitar YouTube channel for more lessons and don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications when I upload a new video. You can also check out my books and more guitar lessons at learningtoplaytheguitar.net. Thanks for watching and keep practicing.